Hello, um, Lou Lee here. Thought I'd start doing some um, tutorials on Audio Tool, which is one of my favorite online free DAW programs uh, with a really great interface and stuff. Um, let's just dive right in. So um, here's the web page, obviously. Uh, this is my particular page. If we go to the the A up in front, then it's our information flow, features, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and open the app. Um, you can shortcut this and so on. I like to open it in a new tab. And there it is. Um, and I'm just going to open this on an empty track and see what pops up here and see what happens and uh, start from scratch. So um, our first thing is uh, this this basic uh, device right here is the Centroid. It's a mixer. Um, it's a 16 channel mixer with uh, two aux sends, um, which you know, real world, whatever. It's it works. It's it's pretty nice. Um, I'd rather have you know four or six aux sends, but hey, I'm picky. And then there's this thing, and this is the master output module. This is really what. Um, what interfaces all of your devices with your sound card. So if that ever gets unplugged, uh, then you will have no sound. It has a built-in limiter here, um, and obviously a master level and so on. Um, uh, now here's the cool thing I think in general about audio tools, what, what I just showed you with the cables. Um, the cables can be hooked up can be you know plugged in plugged in wherever they're basically acceptable like you can do goofy stuff like this that makes no sense um, but as long as you go you know output to an input you're okay um, it's just like the real world ex you know but if you had uh, you know let's say fifty thousand dollars worth of vintage techno gear to play with which would be interesting um, I don't want to say unlimited because it completely depends on your computer. Um, these things are obviously patterned uh, after some actual vintage synths and beatboxes and things. Uh, but some of them are not. Some of them are very unique. Um, all in all, this is just a, it's just a great program. Um, if I had any complaints, I guess it would be with updating it. Uh, I know they've been at work on this update for years and nothing's really happened in a long time so they're probably a small company. Um, anyways, so like for example this is a Beatbox 8 and it's clearly patterned after a Roland you know TR-808 which is a you know a classic drum machine. So every single device um, you've got obviously the cables that hook up here um, you've got this information box here which takes you to the wiki page and it gives you all of the different controls and such on it uh, which is you know also pretty cool everything can be labeled so you can label this whatever you'd like and then that corresponds to anytime you add a track down here so if I go beatbox 8 and I go to a pattern track or a note track both of which are sort of different functions or any of these different uh, automations that you can do um, all of that stuff will correspond to whatever label you have here. So, for example, if I just put uh, uh, Smurf, yes, this is called Smurf. Now I can add a track on the Smurf, and uh, and so on and so forth. Right. So, um, so there's that. Um, I'm going to start with some basic stuff today on just basic hookups and how to um, hook up effects and um, you know, kind of just diving in and getting started. Um, First thing you probably want to do is to have an account so that you can save all of your all of your work. Um, this has happened many many times to many many people in many many programs where you forget to save and then you lose it and then you're screwed. Uh, yeah, it happens. So don't let it happen to you. Uh, I'm gonna do my basics, which is reverb and delay on my aux send. So I'm gonna grab a pedal. Now you notice this, okay? This hooks itself up to the first available channel generally, and that is controlled by this little thingy up here in the corner. All right, this is the auto connect, and I hate it. I turn it off and I leave it off, and so on, because I, I kind of you know I know where to connect things, so I don't need this thing telling me what to do. Um, 
I like to use reverb and delay. They're kind of the standard, um, you know, effects on aux sends for things. Um, you know, for me, for I'm sure a lot of people. Um, so we need to go output into the input of this, output of the pedal into here. Now the pedals are modeled after a certain manufacturer. Could be your leader at work, if you get my meaning. Your boss. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, yeah, so like you can click this and turn the whole thing off. Um, and then uh, obviously the knobs and such. Um, I find this reverb to be uh, a little weak, I guess. Um, it seems to ramp up really fast, right about 3 o'clock on the knob, and all of a sudden, like, the room size, it's listed as 134 milliseconds. It's way more than that. Um, so I like a little damping, a little feedback. Now for here, your level needs to be all the way up. Anytime you're using this as an aux send, you got to have it all the way up three sixteenth notes or eighth note triplets or eighth notes for here and then I just leave the feedback the way it is so um, anyways those are the effects um, and let's uh, let's start something you know pretty simple I guess on the next one um, this, this is sort of my basic setup and um, yeah I guess I'm gonna end it here um, we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching